Here are 10 mistakes I made when I first got into AI animation, and avoiding these mistakes can save you time, money, and headaches. So let's get into it. So in no particular order, here we go. I used to record all my audio in Eleven Labs and generate immediately, wasting credits. Now I record all my audio, edit that audio together, and then upload that file to Eleven Labs, and I then generate, saving myself credits and therefore saving myself money. When a video is too short and I want to extend it, I used to use several different methods. However, now I take my AI animated video, I drop it into Premiere, and it has a feature where you can extend the video an additional five seconds or so. Again, saving me time, money, and headaches. When I wanted a certain music in my videos, I used to type in the type of music I was looking for, but I would always get mixed results. Now I put the type of music I want to copy in ChatGPT. ChatGPT gives me the perfect description to put in Suno, and when I paste it in there, I get the exact type of music I'm looking for. This saved me so much time, because as you may or may not know, getting the right music can take forever. I started using ChatGPT for better prompts. I used to try to come up with a prompt for an image that I wanted to create. Now, I just take that image and put it into ChatGPT, and I ask ChatGPT to make the prompt for me. Then I use that prompt as my starting point when I'm creating images in Midjourg. This saves me a ton of time. When I got started, Nano Banana wasn't a thing. I used to create images based off the animations that I was making. This started getting really complicated and it never really matched up really well. Now, if I want to tell a story, first I create all my images and then I start making my animations from the images. This process works a lot smoother and you have a better idea of what you're working with, saving you both time and money. When it comes to AI, do not buy a yearly subscription to any platform. When I first got started, I wanted to show myself I was committed. So I bought yearly subscriptions on several different platforms. Sort of like buying a yearly subscription at a gym. This way I forced myself to go to the gym and get my money's worth. The problem is AI is moving so fast and advancing so quickly that some of the platforms I have yearly subscriptions with are not keeping up, so I hardly use them. As of right now, the only platforms I really use are Midjourney, Higgsfield, and HeyGen. However, I do have some yearly subscriptions with other platforms, but I just don't use those that much anymore. Not reading the fine print when it comes to using certain platforms. I signed up for HeyGen, but I didn't realize that the feature that I was wanting to use only had three minutes worth of lip syncing. And I had to learn the hard way that some of the features you want to use are limited. It was a good learning experience, but if you read the fine print ahead of time, you won't make these mistakes. This one I don't exactly have any regrets on, it's just something you should keep in mind. I create a character with eyes and a mouth. If you want to save money, you could create a character that has a helmet, or you just don't see their eyes, or you just don't see their mouth. This is important because with the mouth, you're going to have to do lip syncing, which is going to cost more money. And when it comes to people's eyes, a lot of times you might have to keep making generations if your character doesn't have the right eye contact. These are small details, but if you're making your first AI character, consider making a character where you don't see their eyes or mouth. This will save you time and money. Whenever a new feature came out with AI, I would usually get pretty excited and I would sign up with the platform and I would start using the feature, only to find that the feature was very limiting. Had I just paid attention a little bit more, I would have noticed this before ever even signing up. A good example is Runway with their Act 2 feature. On the surface, it looks like you can create a character and make that character animate and move around. And you can, however, it changes the way your character even looks and you can see the way the movements are is a little limiting. This is why I never actually brought this feature out and explained it on this platform. I felt like it was more gimmicky than anything and it was just kind of a big waste of time and money. So whenever you see an AI feature come out, it might look like you can do a lot, but ask yourself what it's not doing. This might save yourself time from messing with some of these features because everybody is trying to get your attention and everybody is trying to get you to get on their platform. This is easier said than done, but what I'm trying to get at is don't get too excited just because a new AI feature comes out. I would actually sit back and wait and see how well it's performing and how many people are actually using. And while there's a lot of other mistakes I made, I'll end it with this one. I sat on the sidelines too long. I had actually thought about creating content with AI for over a year before I got started, but I wish I would have got started even earlier because AI has done nothing but improve my life. 
So I strongly suggest you just get involved. Just start creating something now, today. Even if it's just a little something and you're just playing around with it, get involved, use AI. It's not going anywhere and it will improve your life. I promise. That's it for me. I hope you guys got some value out of this. And like always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.